Hey guys, Kid Varsity 3 here. Um, this here with another demo for you guys. It is a PlayStation Move game and it's called Tumble. Uh, if you want to buy this demo, it is 765 megabyte app to download. If you want the full game, it's 7.99. And uh, yeah, I just really wanted to try this out really, so let's uh, try this out. PlayStation Move. It, um, good thing this is um, the navigation controller. Uh, sorry, not navigation, the uh, motion controller. This is for only the motion controllers. I heard about this game that you're supposed to like balance bl um, blocks and stuff, but uh, yeah, let's uh, try this out. Supermassive games. Oh crap, no more motion controller is going over multi colors. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Point the PlayStation on camera and hold down the move button. Yeah, retry. Looks like you're ready to go. Oh, I know. Welcome to the game. Okay, let me just there we go. Single player, because I haven't got a friend with me. Oh, zone one. Zone one. A tutorial. Zone one. Level one. You can win a gold medal on this level. Oh, sweet. Welcome to the tutorial. This is where you'll learn all about the game. First, it's important to get yourself into a good position. If you're well, yeah. at all, just get comfortable and keep the motion controller fairly close to your body. If the motion controller seems to be pointing in the wrong direction, you can quickly center it by pointing at the PSI and pressing circle. Give it a try now. Okay. Center the motion controller by pressing circle. That's it. Oh. Now let's learn about how you're going to use the motion controller. Try moving the motion controller around. Yes, that's what I'm doing. Like that. The game copies the motion controller's movement exactly. Okay. Moving left and right is easy enough, but you can also reach into the screen. Oh, can I? With the motion controller so that it fits inside the outline. Oh, you can actually go through them. Now let's bring on the blocks. Oh, it's a block. Let's learn I don't need that much blocks. Difference. Point the motion controller at the blue plastic block on the floor. Notice how the block is highlighted? Yes. This shows which block you have selected. Make sure you're pointing at the block and then pick it up using the T button. Oh, it looks like I gotta hold it. Held down, or the block will be back on the floor before you know it. Yeah. Okay. It's time to learn how to move blocks around. Uh... Move the plastic block into the outline. That's great. This Where did my block go? Is at an angle. All it takes is a turn of the wrist. Move the glass block into the outline. You have to be joking, you got a twist. Yeah. Go well for done. It. 
If a block needs rotating a large amount, we've invented a useful trick that will make rotation easier. Give the wooden oh. block a quick flick of the wrist. Just got to flick it. Using the flick maneuver, try to place the rectangular block inside the target. Okay. The flick will serve you well as you play the game. Okay. Now we can move on to the real deal. Okay, let's get on. This is the it. that will form the base for most of your constructions. If you don't build your tower on top of the platform, it's not going to count at all. Okay. In fact, the platform is so important that later on in the game, if your blocks fall off the platform and hit the ground, the level will end there and then. That's a bit gay. Pick up a block and move it into the outline. Oh, we just done this. Do you see the red shadow underneath the block? That's called the drop zone. It really helps to show where your blocks are going to land. You still have to be careful how you place them. Dropping them from a great height isn't always the best idea. Place the block onto the platform. Oh, we just when did it. When the block is in position, release the T button to put it down. Yes. Oh, that's how we've got to do it again. Great. You're ready to make your first tower. Pick up another block, and using the drop zone to help you, place it on top of the first one. Oh, that's how we've got to do this. Just stack up blocks. It's often best to lay the blocks down as gently as you can. Now, put the third block... Oh, this looks easy. Tower. Well done. It's not exactly a skyscraper, but it's a start. As you master the key skills, you'll be able to create a tower like this. Where do my blocks go? Well. However, that looks this tower normal. is not quite as well constructed as it might seem. If you press and hold the move button, you'll enter camera mode. Now, whilst holding the move button, moves a motion controller up and down. From this side, the tower looks fine, but try moving the camera to the left or right. Looks fine to me. Whoa, well, some of them look tilted to the side. Stable as it looks from the front. Wait. If you do get the camera into a strange position. A useful trick what is to the press hell? the X button. Right there, and you should get there. How the hell did they do that? X takes you back to takes your camera back to the home position. This is the home. Oh, okay. It refocuses the camera on the starting position. You can also press the square button to take a wider view of your tower. Square. The camera is one of your most valuable tools. Using it well can really help your gameplay. Now that you know how to move and rotate blocks and control the camera, you should be well equipped to take on your first level. Goal. Oh, I got a gold medal. You've got a gold. Oh, level's been unlocked. Loading. Zone one. Gold. My first tower. Okay. Steady those hands and take a nice deep breath. It's time for your first build high challenge. Don't need to take a Zone deep breath. One. Level two. My first tower. All three medals are up for grabs on this level. Oh. There are also two bonus medals available. Oh. So there's five. This is a build high challenge. The idea is to make the tallest tower possible. Oh. You can use the blocks in any order. You can place them at any angle you like. And you don't have to use every block. Oh, it's that's simple. good. The higher, the better. See if you can get the gold. 
This is gonna be pretty easy. Okay. Let's go for the light ones. If a single block falls off your tower, the level will end. Okay. Uh, let's go for this massive block. Okay. Uh, let's go for this round one. Go for the last one. Let's flick it. Go. Yes. My masterpiece. Well, it's a tiny tower. And now there are two medals left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know there's two medals left. We don't care. We're just going through the, this demo. We're not going to get the whole, all the medals. Duck and cover. There are seven more medals. Demolish the tower in this destruction challenge. What the hell? Zone one. Welcome to your first destruction challenge. Okay. In these levels, there's no building involved. Oh. Instead, you'll have to use mines to blow up the tower. Uh, what the? Bigger messes mines? As you can see from the target on the floor, the wider your explosion is, the more points you'll get. Oh, it's more like a Once target practice thing. you'd like to place the mine, point towards it and press the T button. Oh, okay. Jeez, uh, I have no idea. I'm going to put one light the on the bottom. The mines you have left is displayed in the top left corner of the screen. I'll pull Something on the bottom so it just makes it fall easily. Uh, let's move the camera. Let's place one where the X8 is. And I guess we should put one right at the top. Time to reach the cover. Pull the T button. Let's blow this up. Nothing happens. The hell? Nothing happens. No medals awarded. I wanna retry that. Zone one. Welcome to your first destruction challenge. 